like using the Prowler knot for a couple of reasons. It's a strong knot, but I really like this loop that it creates that allows my lure or my streamer to move around that loop just a little bit, and it gives the lure a lot more fish attracting action. Let me show you how to tie it. We're going to do this with paracord, which is a lot thicker than monofilament, so it's going to make kind of a fat knot here at the end, but it's going to show you the steps very clearly on tying the Rapala knot. We're going to start off with an overhand knot in the line, easy enough, and we've got our fake fishing lure here. We're going to run the line through the eyelet on our fishing lure, and then run it back through the overhand knot, like so. Now we're going to wrap this knot three times with the tag end of the line. And that's where a lot of the strength from the, the Rapala knot comes from because you've got three wraps in front of the overhand knot running back to your rod. Take the tag end, run it from behind that first overhand loop, and that creates a loop, and we're going to run the tag end through that loop. And we're going to tighten this thing up, and it's going to be a little bit of a mess since it's this thick paracord. But when you tie it in monofilament, it makes a really nice, nice line, a nice knot with wraps around the knot to cushion the blow of a big fish. That's why the Rapala knot, it's my go-to knot in the fishing arsenal.